The um, course is a Cambridge National Child Development. It's a level one or two um, certificate. Um, it's the equivalent equivalent of GCSEs, um, and it's marked in the same way. The only difference is instead of getting a number grade, you get a grade which is either a distinction star, distinction merit, a level two pass, or a um, level one pass. Um, going down through the grades there. <clears throat> so it's um, the OCR exam board, and you can get further information from these websites. Um, ocr.org.uk um, and if you google that you can find that as well. The course is examined in, um, by 50% which is an exam. Um, you can do that exam in the January of year 11 and then you've got a chance to resit it in the um, June or May or June of year 11 as well. So. If you don't do as well on the first time, you've got a chance to um, improve your mark and um, give yourself another shot at it in the in the next uh, next round of exams. There are two pieces of um, coursework or controlled assessment that you will have to do. Um, I'll talk to you in a bit more detail about those um, later, but each of those is worth 25% of your final grade. So you can take a lot of pressure off yourself by um, doing well in the coursework and you know that at least half of the marks have already been gained um, from you doing your coursework so it's really important and uh, you know you, <clears throat> you will um, be able to give yourself a really good foundation for your grade by doing well in your coursework um, the exam itself is an hour and 15 minutes long and the coursework um, is once about a nursery setting and the other one's planning and carrying out an observation on a child. So the um, the coursework, the controlled assessment, um, as I said, it's worth the two tasks are worth twenty five percent each. The first assessment is based around a nursery setting, so you have to um, you're given a scenario whereby you are setting up a nursery and you have to decide what equipment you would put into that nursery. Um, what you'd reject and what you would actually select. You need to be able to give reasons why you would um, make those decisions and you're thinking about uh, types of development for the children, um, the safety of the children, value for money, how appropriate they're going to be um, and finally you'll make a practical assessment where you are learning how to feed children um, using a formula and a bottle being made up. The second controlled assessment um, is a really interesting one. It is when you um, you look at the, diff the different ways that a child will develop. So different types of development. It might be physical skills, motor skills, memory, speech. And you, you develop a, a task and a way to actually observe that child. So you go into a setting and you look at how they interact with the um, with the, the resource that you've created um, and then you're going to feed back on that and what you're trying to do is to try and develop that child's particular skills um, in that area so their motor skills for example. One big thing to be aware of on this is <clears throat> you need to be able to observe a child so you need to have um, a child that you know um, that is uh, about 18 months to five years old. So some a child, it can be a boy or a girl, in that age range, you just need to be able to go to their house or then come to your house and to observe them um, so you can carry out a piece of coursework. So it could be a brother or sister, it could be a relation, it could be a family friend, neighbor. Just speak to your parent or carer about it and just think about who might be suitable um, we have been known to get uh, students to observe staff members' children in the past, but it's not quite the same as when you've got um, your own child to to observe uh, and to see how they develop. <clears throat> um, the exam, as I said, the exam can be taken in the January of Year 11 and then retaken um, in the summer of Year 11 as well. 
Um, and there's five units that make up uh, the theory there. So first one is understanding reproduction and the roles and responsibilities of parenthood. So it's deciding to have a baby, the preconception health, things you can do to look after your body um, before you conceive the baby. Roles and responsibilities of parents, um, the kind of get you to think about what a parent needs to do and how they need to act what response what responsibilities they have and how they are going to cope with that having that child um contraception the female and male reproductive reproductive systems early signs of pregnancy like how you do pregnancy tests um, how they work and that kind of thing um second one is understand antenatal care and preparation for birth so things like antenatal classes job roles, um, locations for birth, you might have a home birth or hospital birth, routine checks, and the three stages of labor. Um, and the lessons will be quite interactive in terms of having props and things like that, of things like um, the inside of a, uh, a womb, so you can sort of see how, how things will work, um, how the baby develops. You've got understanding the postnatal checks, postnatal provision and conditions for development. So if you have premature babies, um, reflexes of the babies, the conditions for development, um, physical checks and APGAR. Um, so all the kind of ways that that child will be looked after and cared for, checked up on and make sure that their development is coming along as um, well as you'd expect it to. Um, you can understand how to recognize, manage and prevent childhood illnesses, so diet related illnesses, the needs of an ill child, if they had to stay in hospital, what would you do, um, how to make them immune with vaccines and things like that, um, inoculations and childhood ailments, things that can cause a child to be unwell um, and hamper their development. And you know you need to know about child safety, so safety labels on toys, Areas of the home that can be a danger and how you can make these um, safer. Um, personal and internet safety. And all of this theory will be um, within that exam. So you'll have some short answer questions and then some longer six to eight mark questions, which require you to write some more information about. So the coursework um, and the exam, you, you will have to do quite a bit of written work, obviously. Um, the coursework, we like you to type it up on your ICT. Um, so that you can make improvements to it um, as you go along um, so that it's legible and you can present it in a clear and concise way that can maximize your marks. Um, okay, I'm going to um, just click on the mics now so that you can speak. Please don't speak all over each other, but if anyone's got any questions you'd like to ask me, um, then now's a good opportunity to do that. Um, so has anyone got any questions they'd like to ask me about? Okay, if you haven't got any questions, or if, so if you have got any questions you'd like to email in, you can email Mrs. Gould on um, cgould at retfordoaks-ac.org.uk. Um, if you prefer to speak to me, I'm tstanley at retfordoaks-ac.org.uk. Um, but yeah, it's a really good course. We get really good outcomes. Um, we have students do it, and they love it. Um, you know, speak to students in year... 10 and ones that have just left year 11 and they will really uh, be very um, positive about the course. It is hard work, there's a lot of writing to do um, but the students who do it absolutely love it and it can lead on to some really good careers in childcare. Um, it, if you want to be a teacher it's good um, having that understanding, it's just, it's just a good all-round course in terms of giving you a good understanding about how a um, a child develops and how it can be nurtured and looked after um, and things like health and social care it ties in nicely with those and complements them quite well as well okay well thanks for that and if you like I say if you've got any questions you can email those in um, final final chance to ask me any questions now I'm not seeing any messages coming up um,
Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. But like I said, if you have got any questions and you'd like to speak to me about them, please email them across and stay safe.